<laughs> and uh, Evan, let's talk about Kevin Rudd. I hate to give him too, too much mileage, but how transparent is, is the, this campaign against journalists that, that dare hold a powerful person such as himself, it's quite powerful, held, held the highest office in the country, uh, people that dare write things that are critical of him, and then he goes to war with them, but his own party has very similar relationships with media, and you don't hear a word about it. Jack, the silence is deafening from Kevin <laughs> Rudd, uh, from Sally Rugg, from Australians for a Murdoch Royal Commission, uh, who are constantly spouting day after day uh, that these kind of relationships, particularly with News Corp, are terrible and bad for democracy. Uh, call me a sceptic, but maybe uh, just because it happens to favour the Labor side of politics might be the reason for their silence. But I I'm a free speech <laughs> absolutist. I don't think these sort of things should be regulated or these kind of relationships should be outlawed, uh, that we, we live in a free country, a, a democracy with freedom of speech, and, and, and people should be able to have relationships with media proprietors if they want. Uh, Kevin Rudd only sees one side of that equation. So I think him and, and others who can, like The Guardian who campaign on this have been exposed in, as, as absolute hypocrites for their silence on this issue. Yeah, very well said, and be careful what you wish for, because the Royal Commission will also have a look at their relationships, particularly with The Guardian, maybe a Malcolm Turnbull. Evan Maholland, thank you very much for your time. Thanks, mate.